Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell and this is your Intuitive Message Forecast for today, Friday, May the 16th, 2014. As always, thank you for taking time to watch the video, retweet, post, subscribe, do all that good stuff we do here on social media. So today is the number 16. I, I, before I, I looked down at my list and I was looking at the numbers and I was thinking, all right, people, hold on. It's a big wave today. Big wave today. This is like the second wave from this week, you know, with this full moon. So ride the wave, ride the energy. Okay, so today, number 16, within the realms of tarot card, which is how I work, which is where I get my information from, plus just direct channel from spirit. So today, it's not as quite as bad, I'm feeling, from spirit as typical kind of 16 tower days. Tower card is like complete destruction, tilling up of the garden, completely wiping the slate clean, moving forward, any relationships, things like that. But it's not quite as bad today. It definitely is about some changes. They don't feel as sudden as usual with that card, but there definitely is some changes going on. Also, 16 is the number seven, which is the chariot energy, which is the energy of this entire year. 2014 is seven year. And that is often about making quick, fast decisions, often polarized. Sometimes it can be the exact opposite and feeling like you're stuck only because you don't know which way to go kind of a feeling. Seven of cups is kind of like that. I don't know which way to go. You know, seven of swords is the number I pulled for today on Sunday as this card. Seven of Swords can be about, you know, uh, infidelity, um, allowing your mental energy to drain away. You know, people take it, steal it. Um, definitely spending too much time in worry. Um, but it's usually from external forces that you're allowing, that you're allowing. Um, and um, what else? Seven of Coins is about abundance. So there's definitely a lot going on. So it's this polarizing kind of feeling. Number seven is a very dynamic number. It's masculine. It's moving. There's not anything just sitting still here. Also, add up all the numbers today, and you're going to get the number 19. 19 is the Sun card. Just you know, think of that sunflower back there. Bright, beautiful fresh beginnings, light is shining on the areas where we couldn't quite see, you know, you know, the darkness is so very important for us because it's during that darkness, like nighttime, that our body regenerates, that we grow, that we can get quiet because the sun will rise again and we'll be able to see our path and we'll start moving again. That's, that's kind of in a nutshell for me. Like light is high vibration, you know, dark is low dense vibration where you're, you know, you're in a pause kind of a state and wondering what's going on. Um, and not necessarily like light and dark, evil and good kind of a thing. Um, just kind of in, in daylight and nighttime, you know, in that type of a feel. Also, if you boil number 19 down to 10, because one plus nine is 10, that is the wheel, wheel of fortune, the going on, the shifting, the rotating, the calendar, like that Mayan calendar right there. It's just a, you know, it can be plentiful things, multiple choices, um, that Wheel of Fortune, there's so much coming at you. But for me, it's often about just the day-to-day, -day, uh, usual, up in the morning, work, home, sleep, feed the kids, go to bed, top of the field. But all of that boils down to number one, which is magician. Starts, beginnings, having everything we have. Oftentimes it can, you know, be misleading too, because that magician can be that huckster that trickster, you know, trying to get something from us because they're trying to amass all they can, which is what the magician does have, everything they need within them. So, and again, Seven of Swords is what I pulled on uh, Sunday for today, for Friday. So definitely watch where you're allowing that mental energy to go. Be mindful of it. You know, if you want to make a choice to watch the Desperate Housewives, that's okay. Just be mindful that that energy is going to that. If that's your choice, that's fine. Mindless TV is sometimes what you need. You know, if, if half a chocolate cake is what you need, okay. But just be mindful of it because when you're done with it, don't beat yourself up. Oh, my God, I can't believe I ate all that chocolate cake or I wasted two hours watching this TV. You know, be mindful of it. Make the decision. Own it and then move forward. The Lenormand card for today, almost pulled two is that is our cloud card so this is a and first of all it's number six b it's king of uh clubs which is king of wands and you know what that's the only king that didn't show up this week and now it did because i had the king of coins the king of cups the king of swords and here's the king of wands i, I even said earlier video 
Every king but this one has showed up. So it showed up through Lenormand, which is interesting. So this was a kingly week. People were learning some shit. So number six, clouds. What is covered up right now? What it, can't you see? Because beyond the cloud is the sun. The sun is always there shining. We think, oh my God, the sun's gone. No, it's just behind the clouds. So the terror to go along with that, Knight of Cups. So with this card and the cloud cards, you're be cautious because you're um, you're going to be quick to make emotional decisions and changes, especially with not knowing what's out there because the clouds are kind of covering your brain, your mind, you're foggy, you're not clear. So take those breaths and realize just beyond that cloud is the sun. Just beyond the darkness is the light. You know, and I'm using that as a metaphor, not of good and bad, but just of the next day coming, of the next thing I'm moving forward. So, um, yeah, be real cautious of that today. It just, <coughs> it just feels like it's one of those days where you get quick to be emotional. <sighs> so take a breath and move forward. All right, all that being said, check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. Make sure you get on my Facebook page. A lot of stuff happens there. I'll Pinterest, I'll Instagram there as well. Um, I will be doing in-person readings in July, July 26th at Kissimmee. New World Wellness. They'll be 25 minutes for $45. You can go to my Facebook page, the fan page, and find the events there, or just go to New World Wellness. It's also on my website. You can find New World Wellness. They take all the reservations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and Sunday night, Cosmic Cafe. We've got Fiona Benjamin coming in, Skyping in from Japan. So it'll be a fun night. And I'm pretty sure we have booked Molly McCartney um, in um, July as well. So I'm excited about that. Um, what else is going on? I'll be going up to Atlanta for Through the Veil Productions. Um, it's a little more paranormal, ghost hunting kind of fun. But Paul Selig will be there, which I'm very excited to see him again. Um, Andrea Perone, who was one of the daughters in The Conjuring, who I met last year, who we've chatted via Facebook. Um, there's a possibility I'll be on her radio show. I'm very excited about that. Um, also making some arrangements for two other radio shows that I'm going to go on. They're kind of during the week. So I feel like this is part of the reason why I brought down my show that I could open myself up for other people's shows to go out and go on. Um, so excited. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Check out my Facebook page and my website. I got available readings on Saturday morning. And then the next weekend, it's wide open on that next weekend. So that's like the 20. What is that? Four and five, uh, May 24 and five. So if you're looking for a Skype, phone, FaceTime in person, or not in person, but a Skype, phone, or FaceTime reading, let me know. Otherwise, the other options are there on my website. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.